Hello. Hi. So, what this vlog is all about. <laughs> it's a very different vlog from us. Is the kitchen. We are in the kitchen right now and the kitchen needs decorating. Oh, so bad. Um, we've, we moved in to an... About two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. And out of all the rooms in the house, yeah. the kitchen is one that we've like touched least. Um, it, it's got worse, if anything. <laughs> yeah. So it really needs like fixing up. We spent our money that we were going to do uh, do the kitchen up with on Florida. <laughs> we went to Florida. Doing? That was the better option. The kitchen is not falling t to bits. It's just not horrid. aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> And my theory is, if it isn't driving to bits, I'd rather spend my money on more fun things. But the time has come where we cannot put it off any longer. <coughs> yeah, so, let's just do a quick spin round <sighs> we've, of... We've never shown you the kitchen in all its glory, so I do apologise because it is awful. So let's but have a look. This is the whole purpose of the before and after. So, so now let's have a look. So these are the walls that need painting. <coughs> it's got a bit of polyfiller <laughs> on it. I know. <laughs> It's also really blurry. You can't see it when it's blurry. Let's just have a blurry kitchen. I'll squint then. Good idea. So there's that that needs doing. Same up here. This is where the a boiler was. Grand feature of the kitchen. Um, we we had the boiler removed. This is just like concretey stuff, <laughs> which needs sanding. Yeah, it's left a mess. Polyfiller in, painting. That'll be fine. Nothing to worry about this there. This is the very first project actually, because obviously the tiles were cut to get the re the old boiler in. Yeah. Um, so these two and a half tiles are hopefully getting removed um, and then they'll just be capped off again and this will all be sanded down so this bit is the very first project and it is the bit I'm most nervous about because I don't know how it's going to leave the wall behind it. We'll figure that out, that, that's today's <laughs> job anyway. Yes. Uh, then moving around we've got the kitchen like Cupboards and cabinets and stuff. <laughs> They're all the original cabinets from when the house was built as well, about 14 or 15 years ago. So like, there's nothing wrong no, with them. They're fine, they're just, <clears throat> dare I say, cheap looking. Yeah, they do kind so, of look a little bit cheap, but that's... The like, cabinets are staying, because this is very much going to be a, a very tight budget renovation. <laughs> so, the cupboards are staying, but we have got plans for them that hopefully you will see later in the video. Yeah. Um... I think. Oh, we are getting eventually a new sink. Oh yeah, a new sink. Because it's white plastic and I don't know whose smart idea that was. Um, a new hob and a new oven. But that'll be that'll be the very, very final end of the project. And a new floor. Oh, yes, and a new, new floor. New floor. But <laughs> today's job is this Tiles. this business here. Tiles and paint shopping. By the way, just to document the whole process, because I'm thinking this is gonna take quite a few months. It is the 4th of January today, and this is the official start of the kitchen renovation. So you know how we were going to wait and get help with the tiles? <laughs> couldn't wait. We couldn't wait, because time is ticking on. Um, and I so want Josh, to hammer things, so... Josh tackled it himself. We have found a slight problem as we've gone along. I'll show you. Turns out this is a pipe from where the boiler was. I'll so, fix it. It's fine, yeah. don't worry. We've got to figure something out. But he's, he's actually done quite well. I am very impressed because we've never done anything like this before ourselves. So I am. Watch, I'll film this one now and the whole wall will crack. <laughs> like a boss. High five for tile removing. <laughs> So it's still the 4th of January, <laughs> uh, we went shopping, we bought some polyfiller and things so we've sanded down these bits, we took those tiles off, uh, sanded, polyfilled it, this just needs to dry and then we can sand it again. Uh, we've sanded down these walls ready for some painting. And the plans for the kitchen have changed massively. <laughs> yeah. I have my DIY attire on. Wow. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got Josh's dad around this morning, basically a fresh pair of eyes that actually knows what they're talking about. <laughs> and the, now, the whole idea is, it's so echoey in here now by the way, we're having a breakfast bar the entire length of this wall. <laughs> yeah, instead of it just coming to like there, it's going to go the entire way. The Josh, I'm assuming with a little help from his dad, 
is building himself. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save so, some money. Yes, it worked. We've been to like a timber warehouse, and it's actually gonna be, especially because of the size of it. I mean, you would never be able to buy anything that big, I don't think. No. Um, it's gonna be so much cheaper, and it's gonna create a lot more room. And the second thing that's changed, we're actually having proper tiles on the floor now. Yes, yeah, so we're getting rid so, of this. This is vinyl, and we're just gonna replace it with vinyl. But we found a pretty good deal on tiles, and we're saving on fitting too because Josh's dad can tile. So high five for more savings. Yes. So we're going to get the wood and the tiles tomorrow. Hi. So we are on Saturday the fifth of January now, and we last vlogged yesterday. And I'm here to provide a little kitchen update. I say a little, quite a large kitchen update actually, because. We've done a lot, so let's take a look around. So the walls have now all been painted. And the ugly wall that was here looks so much better now. Um, ignore the mess over there. We don't have any flooring. That's all been thrown outside. So the horrible ripped vinyl has been ripped up and then this little thing down here little i say little it's eight foot this is going to be our breakfast bar so josh and his dad have just gone out to buy this and that is going to be our homemade breakfast bar <laughs> i say our homemade breakfast bar i'm not making it josh is making it with some help from his dad um, I think they're actually making the frame for it this afternoon. Um, so things are progressing pretty quickly. Josh has just gone out to buy the tiles for the floor. Um, so no doubt I'll show you those later. I can't see the tiles going down for a few days yet. But we shall see. Because all of this has got done much quicker than I thought. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Honestly, like, it is going to look amazing. And I cannot wait for it all to start coming together. It is officially Sunday the 6th of January and here is what we've done today. So me and my dad have mainly focused on tiling today. We've, we've done one half of the room. It took like six hours because we needed to measure out everything perfectly and then it took ages to cut around. No, oh, you can't see. This bit down here it's like got a little square cut out and around the door here. But we needed to get it perfect. So we took a long time doing this, although we've we've only got like this little bit to go. And that's not a lot really, look, compared to Buddy. So that's what we've been doing today. Also yesterday, I think Lauren showed you the wood that we bought. This is what we built. We built uh, a breakfast bar uh, that is going to be varnished and sanded and varnished and sanded and varnished. And it's going to look amazing. Also, it's just the right height that you can have like a beer here. Look, perfect leaning height. It's like an actual bar. When I'm stood here, I feel like I want to order Guinness. It's not really a bar, it's just a wall. <laughs> so yeah, tiling and breakfast bar. That's today's work and yesterday's. Hi, it's the 8th of January now. So we've been doing this since the... So we're on day three or four. I'm not good at maths and numbers. Uh, anyway, today what we've been doing is we've been doing this table because it started off just normal sort of wood colour because it was just wood. It still is. But we've been varnishing it and um, waxing it. So now it's all sealed and waterproofed and it's got a nice finish to it. And it's usable, like this table is actually usable now. Well, it's not because we don't have any bar stools yet. And we were like this close to ordering the bar stools that we really want for it. And they're just not in stock anywhere around here. So I'm hoping that over the next couple of days they'll become available. But then like, I don't know what we'll do about getting them. We'll get some. So who knows but when we're going to have bar stools. When we do have the bar, 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 bar stools, this table's actually like usable, like you can spill food on it. Although we'll not spill we'll food not on it. That. Also, let's just take a look at the uh, tiles. Tiles. Good that, isn't it? Yes. There's probably not going to be like a big kitchen update for quite a while now. Um, 
obviously like when we do get the bar stools whenever that may be sooner rather than later i'm hoping we'll show the full table um but aside from like touching up of paint and buying bar stools phase one has come to an end so there's probably not going to be like a major update for quite a while now so even though it's like the 8th of january now it could be months before there's another update um just because of like the budget and how much the other stuff is costing because the other stuff's costing like whereas this phase cost way less than what i anticipated phase two is costing way more but like it hasn't balanced out because it's costing a lot lot more than what we've saved here Phase one's finished! High five! Ooh. Today is the 10th of January. I can't even remember the last time we updated, probably a couple of days ago. Um, but we have some new additions to the breakfast bar. We now have some stools, so I will just show you them. Ta-da! Ignore the litter tray in the corner. <laughs> But these are our new stools. So if I just turn one round, I absolutely love them. Jump so we almost. It. I'll model it. I mean, you can't. I can't turn it that way, can I? No. I mean, you can't actually really see the chair now, but yeah. It's comfortable. <laughs> see, we almost have a fully functioning bar table now. Almost. We need to figure out some extra support for it <clears throat> because it's just attached into the wall at the moment. It might be a wine rack, it might be a leg, it might be nothing at well, all. Well no, it's definitely going to be a leg because it's just attached into the wall at the moment and we have terrible walls, like it's just plasterboard. So chances are if you start to put weight on it, it's going to like pull up the plaster. Pull out the plaster basically. So we haven't really got any option but to have extra support. I don't want anything Although it else. is wedged in fairly tight <clears> at <throat> both ends, so a lot of the weight's getting pushed <coughs> sideways. That's true, but if you do press down on it, not even hard, if you do press down on it, it does move. That's, that's tomorrow's job, so I'm sure we'll update on that tomorrow. Yeah. And then we need to finish some painting. I need to paint the, skirt, uh, the skirting boards. And I think we're pretty much done for phase one. But I'm so excited to use my new breakfast bar. We're just gonna have to see what happens with the whole leg situation though. Hi Ziz, it is the 15th of January now. It's been a little while since we've done an update, I think. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember the last time. <laughs> no, anyway, I now we have got the wine rack finished. Well, it's more of a bottle rack. It's housing the gin at the moment. <laughs> gin rack? Yeah. So, here it is. This is all done and all in position and yeah. It looks so, good and like... That took about a million times longer than the table did. <laughs> it took so long. But it has freed up um, like as work surface now and the table support which means we can start using the table now which is good this will take some weight now yes which means we can get accessories for the table now all right <laughs> um also in in update news because i don't think there's really going to be anything going on for a little while now you need to finish painting i'm really low down on these stools <laughs> um you need to finish painting which can also get done this week can't it that's not newsworthy though um but big update wise this this whole project just <laughs> like within the last five minutes turned into a much bigger project than what we anticipated because if i remember rightly we did update you like at the beginning of this vlog with the different phase plans yeah and that all just got blown out of the window <laughs> because as you as we said at the beginning we want a new kitchen no we want a new sink oven and hob we were going to leave the cupboards but it's looking like we're going to be able to have an entire kitchen yeah because your brother is getting a new kitchen and his kitchen's pretty decent so we're so gonna have that one we're gonna have that one um so it's turned into a much bigger project because obviously now that involves replacing all the cupboards 
We're getting everything apart from the sink, so we still need to buy a sink. Everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, we'll need a proper gas fitter to come and fit the hob, which we would have needed anyway. Um, but because we're getting entirely new cupboards and everything, it's going to mess the tiles up, which means... The wall tiles. Yeah, the it? tiles that we were keeping <laughs> are going to have to go and be replaced with new tiles, which is good in the sense of, like, they'll be nice fresh tiles and they'll look pretty, but it's bad in the sense that I'm now going to have to pay for more tiles. <laughs> so I need to have a good, it. like, shop around and look at the budget for that. I'm imagining it's going to be quite a while until we get that though. Yeah, but that's much further down the line, so... Like, I'm, I'm hoping it's within the first half of this year, but... But, we'll talk to you yeah. then. Luckily, like, your dad can do it all, so that saves us money. Yeah. So we'll come back to you in a while. In a while. It could be a few months before we see you now, guys. We'll see. Hey! <laughs> it's the, um... <laughs> it's the 31st of July. 31st of July, so, so... about six months since we last vlogged about the kitchen. <laughs> oh dear. So let's wrap this up then. Right, basically everything has changed since January. We've done nothing. Not physically everything Not physically, changed. we have done nothing apart from what you've just seen that we did all the way back in January. So the story was that we were having my brother's kitchen because he was getting a kitchen off of his fiance's dad then we were having, it was like a kitchen past the yeah. parcel. But he had to sell that kitchen to be able to sort of afford to do up other parts, which is, is fair enough. Um, so, he didn't, he didn't owe us a kitchen or anything, so like... No, it was your, well, I think your dad just got mixed up, because it was your dad that told us that we could have the kitchen. Yeah, I um, think it was a bit of a mix up, but that's okay. So basically, we spent all that money doing the floor, building the table. This has not panned out how I imagined this panning out all the way back in January. <laughs> Can we just hold it right there? I don't think it's that bad, right? It's this, awful. This half of the kitchen's fine, <laughs> right? Yeah. So if we look, look at this side, Lauren, please remove yourself. Uh, this is all roundabout as you saw it last time we got yeah. the chair the stool sorry we got the wine rack i don't know if we showed this properly in this vlog but there you go that's the wine rack it's a thing of beauty a thing of absolute beauty and so is the wine um and then <laughs> we've got like this this light thing that doesn't work lauren's child sunscreen that's not always here uh a beer flight thing on the wall candle holder so everything smells nice in here so this side of the kitchen is quite the success, but then you turn around <laughs> here, cold. by the way, please it's excuse awful. excuse any mess because like I've not tidied it up, deal with it. Um, yeah, as I say, we've not changed these. These are still fine. They're completely usable. They're not falling to bits or anything. Yeah, don't, don't show anymore. <laughs> come back over here, come back over here, come back over here. Right, good. So yeah, that's, that's like the problem with the kitchen and like our main thinking is everything works, the sink works, the oven works. And Ish. between <laughs> between when we start this vlog, start of January, yeah. we've really got, we, Lauren's really got into planning the wedding. Yes, this is the other point I was going to get onto. Well, so last time when we were on about the kitchen we thought we'll spend the money on Florida. This time now we thought about it, um, we're spending the money on wedding and then Florida. <laughs> right, that's the thing. Um, I don't know if I ever spoke about how much the kitchen cost, but so far I reckon we've spent about 200, 250 pounds. Yeah, this, this bit didn't cost that much at all. No, 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 no. Um, and that's obviously tiling the floor. Oh yeah, the tiles. Uh, building the table, buying the stools, building the wine rack and painting. So for that price, I don't think we've done too bad. Um, the big things like the oven and the sink, we're always going to have to wait anyway. But back in January when we did this and we spent the money, we weren't getting married until 2021. In fact, we were only just engaged. Yeah, um, like less than a month. So, so we're pretty much going, yeah, we'll get married in 2021. And then all that changed by about February, March time. And we're like, right, we're getting married in 2020. So that's kind of why like, we haven't spent any more money on the kitchen as well. This year, I would ideally like... I mean, not ideally, ideally, this is getting done, just so you know. <laughs> We're having a print on this wall. That wall there. 
Um, just because it's so uneven with all the pipes behind it. I'm going to design, now I've got so a graphics yeah. <laughs> tablet, I'm going to make my own sort of Ratatouille Disney poster for on yeah. here and it's going to look great. So again, that's like all we've got to pay for is the print in. Um, and also maybe, maybe this year we might paint the kitchen cupboards, we'll see. They're MDF, um, which is supposedly not great to paint, but it can be done. And I don't think that'll cost too much either. We need some sanding stuff and we need masks and goggles because MDF's really dangerous when you're sanding. But maybe, just maybe, we can get the kitchen cupboards done this year, but we'll see. But the painting and the print are definitely getting done. So overall, the kitchen's turned out much more like presentable than it was at the start of the year. Debatable. It's, it's brighter, it's area, the floor's not dark, because it was dark lino, it's now white. The breakfast bar's good, like, we don't use that as much as we thought we would, oh, but... We need to. That's us, though, just being lazy. Yeah, that is. <laughs> but we do use it, it's completely usable, and when we do use it, it's fantastic. So, that's the kitchen vlog, the, like, extended montage from the start of the year. So, we started on the 4th of January. Yeah, January. Like right after New Year, I know that. 4th of January, it's now the 31st of July. <laughs> and this half of the kitchen is... 95% done. This half not so much, but we'll get there eventually and we'll do a whole nother vlog about that. Yeah, the, the, like I say, hopefully we can get some stuff done this year, but it won't be anything big. So maybe there'll be another kitchen vlog and maybe it won't be as much of a disaster as this one is. Just so negative. No, I'm not negative. I just hate this room. This and the bathroom I absolutely hate. And I had visions that this was going to be an amazing room and it just hasn't got there yet. It's getting there though, it's definitely getting there. And with that being said, we're going to get gone, so we'll see you guys next time.